Hi, and thanks for tuning in to Sweet Talk with Taylor. In this session, I'm going to explain how to create purchase orders both from within Construction Suite and from within QuickBooks, as well as how those purchase orders are going to interact with your estimate. Now within Construction Suite, the purchase order option can be found on the QuickBooks integration tab on the top toolbar, and then by selecting Create QuickBooks Purchase Order. This is going to pull up a form within Construction Suite that is going to allow you to select certain filters and choose which items you would really like to see on this purchase order and then create that purchase order within QuickBooks. Now the first thing you'll notice is that the framework is an option for you to filter by so you can select this checkbox right here and if you don't want to create a purchase order for the entire estimate you can choose this select and then it will pull up a form with all of your categories and subcategories for you to choose from. So here, if you'll notice, we have the expansion of these trees over here to give us each subcategory beneath the categories that we have listed. So you can check all the way down to that level whether you would like to include certain categories and subcategories or not. In this case, let's say we're just going to do one for foundation and framing. As I mentioned, you can uncheck certain subcategories if you would like, if you do not want them included on this purchase order. But provided that you want the entire category included, just leave those boxes checked and select OK. You can then see that you've had the further options to filter by both classification and resource, which are going to be assigned in the estimate. We have our resource column here and our classification here. The resource is just going to be a contact, whether it's supplier, subcontractor, vendor, whatever it may be, that is responsible for that subcategory within the estimate. The classification is going to designate that as a labor, material, subcontractor, equipment, or other classification within the estimate. So you can choose here, if we filter by classification, what type of material, labor, equipment item it is, or we can filter by a resource which will populate a list of all of the resources we have assigned in our estimate. Now the reason you might want to do that is if you have subcategories in the estimate that have items with different classifications, so say you have material and labor items mixed in the same subcategory, or you have different items that are assigned to separate resources within the same subcategory, so filtering by this framework isn't quite going to isolate the particular items that you want. At that point, you can come in and select only the resource that you want to generate the purchase order for, only the classification you want to generate it for, and further customize the items that you're actually going to see when you generate this purchase order. But once you've chosen your filters to make sure that all of the items that are going to be included are exactly the ones that you want, you can then select a QuickBooks vendor, and this drop-down list will actually populate with all of your vendors that you currently have in QuickBooks. Now if the resource that you're using doesn't have a vendor already created in QuickBooks, you do have the option to add that vendor right here. And then you can go ahead and put the information in, vendor, company, salutation, first name, last name, select OK, and it will actually create that vendor in QuickBooks for you and then use that vendor for the purchase order. In this case, we're just going to go ahead and select Ajax as our vendor. And then we can filter by resource and select Ajax as that resource as well. So now our purchase order will give us the framework we selected, foundation and framing, but it will only give us the items from the subcategories that have Ajax supply assigned as a resource. You can then choose whether or not you would like to include markup and sales tax and select OK to generate your purchase order. Now once the purchase order has been created, you will receive a notification in Construction Suite that says it has been created successfully. As we see here, the purchase order has been created. So we'll take a look over at QuickBooks and see exactly what that looks like. Here we have our completed purchase order. As you can see, it has populated our items from the Construction Suite estimate for those foundation and framing categories that Ajax Supply was assigned to. We also have the customer job pre-selected for us based on the Construction Suite customer or client and the project name or job. And you can see here that all of these have been assigned for the item to the correct job. So this will tie back into that estimate for this job in Construction Suite, as well as our quantities and rates and the amounts that we have from the Construction Suite estimate. Now this is certainly customizable after the fact. You can come in here, edit the amounts if you didn't estimate exactly right, and the purchase order is actually going to cost more or less, or maybe the quantities changed. But once you've reviewed it and customized it to make sure that the purchase order matches up, you can save and close. It will be saved to this job in QuickBooks. And as you continue to build purchase orders, if you come back over to Construction Suite to the QuickBooks Integration tab, import from QuickBooks your committed cost, which corresponds with those purchase orders. You can choose all open or closed purchase orders and then import those amounts back into the Construction Suite estimate. And it will actually tie those committed costs to each item that we'll see here. If we go into the Category sheet, you'll see we now have a committed cost coming through for each of these Ajax supply subcategories. 
and you will see that these will designate two specific line items from that purchase order and show you the committed cost that you currently have tied up in these items. Now you can also create the purchase orders directly from QuickBooks and still have them come through. You would just need to go up to your vendor center, create a purchase order, and add the items individually from your items list. The one thing you will want to make sure you do though is use the items from the construction suite estimates and make sure that the items list you are using does contain the correct names. And also make sure that you assign the customer job for each item, which if you do it from construction suite, it will do that for you. One last thing, if we come back over here to construction suite, once you import those committed costs, if you save the estimate and make sure that construction suite has registered these newly imported costs, you can then go back to your construction suite main interface, go back to the today screen, and down on our financial graph, you will now see here for our Howard residence, we have showing in yellow our committed costs that we have just imported from QuickBooks on our financial graph. As you can see, Construction Suite has a comprehensive system for managing your purchase orders, helping you with everything from faster creation to financial analysis during and after a job, saving you valuable time and ensuring that you never get burned by overlooking committed costs. Thanks for tuning in to Sweet Talk.